Hey Sagittarius, welcome to your weekly forecast for January 13th through the 19th. We're going to see what's happening the week ahead with this deck here, and then we're going to pull a spirit message from this oracle deck here. So without further ado, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising darlings, let's see what's happening in this lovely week ahead of us at this time. So Monday, Tuesday for Sagittarius, Wednesday, Thursday for Sagittarius, and Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for Sagittarius. Monday, Tuesday, we have the Emperor. So some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio or Aries because this card Emperor is associated with both uh, Scorpio and Aries masculine energies. However, those of you that watch my readings, you know I don't like to get too hung up with the astrology the associated astrology simply because it could be somebody's moon or rising or venus and we don't always have that information we don't always know that and it can throw us off so it could be someone with the emperor kind of traits it could be you you may be coming into emperor kind of energy okay this is a major arcana card so anytime the major arcana cards come up there's a significant crossroads a significant shift that's happening that's directly connected to our life purpose our life path what we've come here to learn what we've come here to to kind of do to succeed at and the emperor is an energy of focus of structure of discipline so Sagittarius some of you might be finding yourself getting very serious about some goals and getting very serious about how to make things happen you know for me the emperor is very much you know building your empire you know creating your dynasty the emperor is a wonderful wonderful card because characteristics if we're going to look at the emperor as like a character in a story the emperor would be someone that they've had some hard knocks in life but they've learned they've learned through those hard knocks okay and they've been able to come back better and stronger every single time there's been some downfall in their life they the emperor has learned from emperor has learned from their mistakes and it's made them better wiser stronger more successful in the long run so this could be you coming into this energy Sagittarius where you've really been able to look at your past you've really been able to look at the some of your mistakes and you're able to really create something very powerful right now some of you may be dealing with an emperor type person and if this is the case this could be someone who's an old soul or it could be someone that is significantly older than you emperor for some of you is also going to indicate dreams coming in through uh, or messages coming in through your dreams but like visitations from your father or father figure if your father has passed on or if a father figure has passed on you may feel you are receiving communication from them uh, from the spirit world or spirit realm i feel for some of you you might be like oh my goodness that's the last person i want to come in with messages for me at like a big transition or crossroads time but again i feel like this might be someone that they are seeing from the other side how their decisions or the things that they did impacted your life negatively or put you in a difficult situation and they're wanting to come in as like a guardian angel or a guide uh to help direct you so that you don't do what they did if that makes any sense now some of you might be like i don't want the help right if that's the case you can let them know other ones of you might really welcome it you may be very happy to hear that but for those of you that have a father or father figure who's passed on emperor could really um indicate that you are receiving communication from them early on in the week now one thing i will say regardless of how the emperor is coming into your life you know this is major arcana and i've said it before in other videos major arcana energy is not energy that's going to be one day or two days this is the beginning of a period of time like this is the beginning of a theme or a cycle and because we're coming out of that eclipse energy this could be for about a six month period for some of you okay this is about like i said structure balance order you know uh building creating in your life uh you know taking responsibility ownership you know lots of structure lots of structure lots of powerful energy here 
your Wednesday, Thursday, we have Ace of Wands. So you are seizing an opportunity and you are running with it. You are ready to go. You are ready to go. And this is something that many of you are going to be very passionate about, very excited about. I just heard building this from the ground up. So some of you are building something from the ground up, a, 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 a project, an idea. Uh, and I do feel for some of you, um, absolutely, this is self-employment, this is business, but for some reason, for some of you, I feel like you're actually taking part in getting some startup or some new company off the ground, okay, or some new aspect or department of an existing business. Um, you know, some of you, there could be an entrepreneur self-employment vibe to it, absolutely. But for other ones of you, I feel your work, your expertise, you might be having a chance to put your skills and abilities to use in getting something new going, okay? Some of you maybe took a risk and you took a job at like some startup or, or some new company that nobody's heard of. But this is giving you a chance to really build and create where later on, once you have this on your resume, after a few years have passed and this company is really successful and people have heard of it, you know, you can go, oh, yeah, well, you know, I was with them when nobody heard of them. Oh, you know this, you know that uh, I was in charge of that. Right. So for some of you, something is happening that you're, you know, you've gotten your foot in the door and it's going to be a big game changer for you on your resume in the future. OK, I feel that very strongly for other ones of you. This is just you connecting with your passion and finally figuring out what it is you want to do. Some of you have been stuck. You're like, well, I want change. I I want to do things that make me happy but I just don't know what direction I want to go in and so ace of wands is like you're figuring this out and you're ready to go in that direction and you're ready to have that structure in your life these are general readings my darling so the energies are going to apply in different ways please keep this in mind this is why I try to go over the different scenarios and the different possibilities your Friday Saturday and Sunday card is five of pentacles so again whether you're doing with self-employment or you're you're taking a job or you're working with some company that is new and kind of unheard of five of pentacles is like very unknown very uncertain what's gonna happen all of this is so new will it be successful will it not be successful uh five of pentacles or five of coins can also sometimes be um taking a risk or taking a chance you know uh leaving the comfort of, of something um in in, in search of uh, of what you're feeling guided towards because what you've had has left you feeling unfulfilled or empty in some way some people get very afraid when they see the five of coins but if you've watched my videos you've heard me say this is actually a really powerful card indicating that you're coming into a really life-changing journey i've referred to it as the wizard of oz card i've referred to it as the jeff bezos card um because this is a card of uh, you know, finding soul family, finding your true blue friends, finding like-minded people, uh, you know, creating something new and finding your abundance. You know, like Dorothy, she was seeking answers. She was seeking guidance. And she met this uh, amazing, interesting group that became like family to her, right? Or Jeff Bezos, him and his ex, well, now ex-wife, but they were married. They started a, a business out of their garage and it became Amazon, one of the most you know, highly, you know, uh, earning uh, companies, right? And somebody commented one time, oh, yeah, but like, you know, he's worth so much less now and he's lost money. He's still doing okay. He's not, he's not. He's not suffering in any way financially. He's still all right, right? But it all started out of their garage, right? Like, and you think about that. Oh, like you think about the good old days in college when you were living off ramen noodles and you were, you know, f looking for a change in the couch cushion so you could go to Taco Bell and get a taco or, you know, like you think about those times and, and there's a certain charm to them. Those are the five of pentacle days. Some of you are like, I'm still looking through my couch cushion for change. I'm there right now okay well then this is giving you confirmation that it's going to be worth it and that you're going to be able to 
um, you know, kind of really find good friends, good memories, uh, success, you know, moving forward through the uncertainty. Some of you are shutting somebody out in the cold. I feel that as well. As you're going in this new direction and as things are getting better for you, you have some fair weather friend that's trying to resurface and you're like, thank you, but no. <laughs> and so I do feel for some of you, you're shutting someone out. Again, these are general readings. The energies will come in in different ways and those are the different scenarios. Scenarios I'm picking up on and I'm feeling. I encourage you to watch your moon sign and rising sign video because some weeks that might resonate more than others. It may bring in a little extra information that can be very helpful. So do check those out as well, okay? You might need a private reading. You can click on the Calendly link for uh, scheduling a private reading as well. Alrighty, my dears, your spirit message for the week. We have... boundaries whoa yep some of you are kicking somebody to the curb absolutely what a confirmation there okay so boundaries 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 okay um and so for a lot of you i feel like what's happening because and again i encourage you guys to see what's jumping out at you from the picture and what that says to you but what's jumping out at me is the peacock so when i see the peacock that's like strutting your your stuff right like you're being seen you're being noticed like your beauty your talent you know you're really kind of catching everybody's attention when i see peacock that's what it makes me think of so sagittarius i do feel a lot of you are on an upswing and people are seeing you like you're going places and some people are super sneaky they know you haven't crossed the finish line yet they know you haven't hit that pinnacle just yet and they're trying to come in all sneaky before you have that success like oh i was with you since the beginning oh really you were with me since the beginning were you there with me when i was in the ditch now that i'm out of the ditch i'm about to make something happen you're calling this the beginning now you're here you know so uh, for some of you there's people that they see your potential they see where you're headed and they're trying to latch on right and so it's going to be up to you to have boundaries for other ones of you Sagittarius you're getting very smart and you're beginning to see through people who are approaching you for superficial reasons okay a lot of the times it'll be people and they're like oh i want to manifest love i want to manifest love and i'll pull their cards and i'll look at their reading and it's like wow like you're a really pretty uh person or you're very handsome or you're very sexy or wow you take really great care of yourself or wow you know you're, you're very fascinating but a lot of the things that they're doing it's like they're putting out this energy in terms of like their appearance like what they look like right or or what they've achieved or what they've been able to accomplish in their life and because of that the people who are you know coming to them are the people that just want to get them into bed or are the people who are just interested in their bank account right and so for some of you Sagittarius, you've been having that cycle. The people that have been coming to you or wanting you, they, they want to get in your pants or they want to get in your pockets. And you're beginning to identify that better. And you're learning to put better boundaries. Um, some of you do have people that are coming to you for help. It's not surprising to me because they, 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 they did see that there was a time that you were really struggling. They see that you're coming out of it. So they might be hitting you up, asking you for pointers, asking you for advice. Um, asking you like you know what to do because you're really inspiring them and I'm gonna leave that to you Sagittarius how you want to handle that some of you might be like nope I had to figure it out on my own let them figure it out on their own and some of you might be like oh well I can help a little bit but not too much or like whatever so it's up to you what you want to do this is gonna be a time for you the next six months where you're figuring out what your boundaries are, what you're comfortable with, what you're not comfortable with, you know, who you're going to let in, who you're not going to let in. So this is the the name of the game for you is going to be boundaries in the next six months. I do encourage you, like I said, to watch your moon sign and rising sign, see what's jumping out at you, um, see what resonates with you. Uh, if you'd like a private reading, schedule one through the Cali link. I know I didn't talk too much about love and romance because I keep those separate on my channel, but if you click on the link in the description, description you can watch the love and romance videos for january as well as the january angel messages as well as the 2020 12 month forecasts that i have 
listed as well. Uh, again, guys, if the weekly messages aren't enough for you, or if you would just like a little bit more cards and tarot and oracle in between the weekly videos, please be sure to follow and like on Instagram and Facebook. I post a card of the day there. I do a pick a card every single day. And a lot of people have been saying that that's been very helpful for them. So take advantage of that free resource as well. Thank you so much for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. Take care, Sagittarius.